All right, I'm just going to tie a real quick buzzer that I've been messing around with lately. Um, tied mostly out of, of moose hair. Is wrapping a single strand of moose hair. All right, I've got a Daiichi 1250 in the in the vise. Really good hook for buzzers. It's got a nice bend to it. I've just got some Viva 16 knot thread. All right, so I've got the the, the Daiichi 1250. Started my thread. I'm going to just kind of dress the hook a little bit not anything crazy down the bend a little bit I'm going to take a single strand of moose find a nice long fiber just kind of pluck it out of there and I'm going to tie it in by the base of the fiber so I'm going to tie that in and then I'm also going to use a single strand of orange angel hair. Now this is going to be kind of difficult to see when you tie it in, but it adds just that little tiny bit of flash in this fly. It really makes it look cool. So I'm going to take both of those fibers and I'm going to wrap down the the hook. Now when I go back up the hook, I'm going to I'm going to pay attention to try to cover up all the gaps um, that I've created. Okay, so we've got that wrapped. We're going to take the, the piece of moose hair first and we're going to start by wrapping that up leaving a little bit of black in between of each in, in between each wrap. And you can see that it, it makes a really cool color. I'm going to tie it off right about there. Now be careful when you're wrapping this angel hair because it's really delicate. But I'm basically going to wrap that in between the moose fiber. It just gives it a little bit of flash. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tie in the white tuft that goes out over the eye. What I like to do is I like to take about half as much as I like showing over the eye. This is McFly Lawn. You can use basically any white fiber that you want and I'm going to tie it in going out over the eye and then I'm going to take my thread back about as far far back as I want my uh, thorax to be. So I'm going to take some orange glow bright floss and I'm just going to wrap that a couple times to make you know the typical orange near the head of the chronomid Alright, so instead of making separate gill pads on this, I'm just going to take the the orange glow bright and I'm going to wrap it around the hook enough so that it really is pronounced. And I'm going to tie that off. Then for the rest of the thorax, I'm going to tie in a single piece of crystal flash. So I've got that tied in. Crystal Flash likes to jump forward. It's really smooth, so we're wrapping smooth on smooth. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of super glue and attach and just tack that on. And now when I wrap this, it should stay right in place. And I'll tie that off. Now I'm going to take the remaining gill material and pull it over the top of the thorax and tie that off. And then I whip finish in front of everything. Okay, now I'm just going to trim the gill material about like that, however long you like it. And now we're going to build it up with some hydro. Alright, it's easiest to use the brush applicator for the hydro. We're just going to barely tag it at first. 
and you'll see as I hit the thorax where I pulled the gill material over it's just gonna totally disappear so just a little bit at first and we'll hit it with another layer alright so I've got a nice little taper with the hydro going up the the thorax we're cured now I'm looking at the gill it's maybe a little bit long trim it down a little bit more and there you go real simple buzzer